Hi, my name is Catherine Skelsey and I'm a resident of Cambridge Street in Penshurst and I wanted to let you know about the changes that the Council, George's River Council are proposing for Penshurst Park. Um, I have a map here of the most recent DA, uh, DA 2017 forward slash 0354. Uh, which was uh, notified to the residents on the 6th of September 2017 uh, and is uh, the last day of submissions is today, the 29th of September 2017. Anyway, just to let you know uh, of the changes that are likely to be happening. What I wanted to do is um, just point out uh, some of the things that I think are perhaps you know, worthwhile and, and, and also not so worthwhile about the, the proposed development. This master plan has been in the works since about 2014 uh, and I think it was based on a needs analysis I'm told by one of the council staff um, that uh, people that were playing soccer on the field felt that it uh, was getting washed out too often and they needed artificial turf. And from that point onwards there's been a, a plan to try and get artificial turf onto the field and also to um, redevelop it as what they call a sporting hub. Um, the issue with having that is that there are a number of units that are, uh, run along the, the lower part along Cambridge Street here and uh, they're medium density, uh, a couple of stories high, most of them, uh, but they contain a lot of young families that have children and they use the space. And I'll just get the, the map that is of the current park so that you can see this. Unfortunately it's not as uh, interesting because it's not in colour, but it's basically a surveyor's map of everything and where everything is placed at the moment. And you can see the netball courts here, which a lot of kids play on. And um, you know, it's not just netball, obviously. It's, it's also just riding around on their bikes, um, playing, you know, right, drawing with their chalk, that sort of thing. We've got the children's playground here. Uh, and we've got some cricket nets just running in this direction here. And we've got a, an old bowling club that is no longer being used. It's derelict and they wanted to demolish that. The croquet club in the corner here exists and will continue to exist. Uh, we've got a large um, football field here and often the kids also play on smaller football fields here in the winter. We've got a cricket pitch there and then we've got the Hurstville Aquatic Village Centre over here um, with parking and the, the area for a lawn at the back of the pool. Basically that's all going to change and you saw in that other map that I showed you just a moment ago and I'll go back to it, the changes that are likely to be happening and they are, actually I'll, I'll try and keep that up there for reference so that we can flip between them, but you can probably see that the children's playground is in a very different sort of alignment there, that we've got this area here which is now going to be astroturfed, it's all going to be artificial grass, no more real grass in that space at all. We've got a walking track around the outside of it as well. We've got tiers of seating here and we're going to have a grandstand up here. So this is going to be all buildings. Previously all this area here has trees. Now it's all buildings here. Um, we do have an exercise like uh, support here of, of little bits of ex outdoor exercise equipment which is a nice thing. We've got a green area here where kids can go in and play and uh, experience a bit of nature there. Um, we've got a kind of a, a flat area here uh, where kids can you know, ride their bikes, but it's nowhere near as big as this area that currently exists for kids to just kind of randomly ride around on their bikes. Um, we've got a few picnic tables here, but again, it's nowhere near as spread out as the picnic tables that we've currently got in this sorry in the space down here um, which have got lots of room between them for large parties which often happens on the weekends you know 50 100 people sometimes are gathering 
on the park in this area. Um, we have green grass here and that's it. That's all that is being left for the community to use as a, a green space. Um, thankfully all these trees are going to be maintained. I think that's extremely important. They're lovely tall gum trees. Um, but really this is the only green space, perhaps a little bit along the bases of these trees and um, I, I'm told on the tiers of the, these uh, steps here as well that have got steps going up through them. Uh, we've got a youth centre here as well. So a lot of building onto the park, over green space, this also over green space, this obviously all over green space. Um, and also the, the fence that currently exists here, it's going to be, you know, you can see that that's where it's meant to be at the moment. We're going to have car parking coming onto the green space as well. Now at the moment, this verge here is quite nice because it's like a little bit raised up and also we've got uh, here little hillocks which are quite nice where the kids can run up and down slopes but as far as I can tell there are, is not going to be any of that sort of sloped landscaping um, that you know, people can just run around on easily. Uh, instead we've got car parking, we've got tiers. The other thing is that over here the area that is normally the large big uh, Worn out the back of the pool, the leisure centre, is now going to be covered by bus parking to accommodate all the people that apparently are going to be coming to this sporting field and also to the leisure centre because there's going to be a change to that as well. So there's a lot of uh, changes. Um, they're just the smaller parts of the changes. I'll give you a little bit of an idea if I can about the history of this and I'll just get out previous maps. This is the first uh, documentation that I saw about the plan that was going to go ahead on Penzos Park and we were asked to uh, give our comments on this. And the second page, which is in reverse there, um, they were proposing an athletics field and so there was some opposition to that. A lot of people didn't feel that that was a good idea and the athletics field idea was rejected um, but we were asked to put in our submissions by the 24th of April in 2015. After that we had other versions of this and so that this is one of them. Okay so you can see that there, very different sort of arrangement, trying to fit one whole field into the centre there. I think at that stage they were definitely proposing the athletics field and they were already talking about increasing the parking here uh, and a very different arrangement with this and a very small cricket centre in the corner there. Um, that has grown over time and you'll see how that has changed. In the next design we have this and you can see that already the cricket centre proposed is much, much larger than what, than what was originally suggested. And then we have the DA which came out last year and we had to make our submissions by August and we've got quite a large cricket centre which has since been passed, that's stage one um, and that apparently is going to be starting to go ahead in November of 2017 this year. But the, you, know, you can see the cricket nets which are the public ones so they're out here um, but there's this large space where the children's playground, which currently exists in that space, half of it's going to be moved over to here in a stage before they actually start to make these larger changes. Um, but that was last year's DA. You can see that there's actually some changes to this in comparison to what has now been proposed this year there. Okay, so if I put them you know, close to side by side if I can. And obviously they're not to scale. You can see that it's a little bit difference in the sizing. But uh, last year the grassed area was there. Now the grassed area is around this corner. Um, there's actually, you know, last year it was that much space for the kids to ride their bikes on. Now it's actually thinner, uh, and not as, yeah, not, not as large. So basically 
what is being proposed seems to be growing and growing over the park and there's less and less space for the community to use for their activities and this is like you know this park is is used a lot <laughs> by the local community these are just slightly more close-up pictures of the changes there just in pieces so I'll put the middle one here that's the middle one and then we have the further one moving along the park there this gives an idea of the elevations these are the tiers up the that end of the park um, and then the gradations down towards the swale on the other end so what I'm referring to is that here is referring to the gradations that are going from there down towards this swale which is accumulating runoff water and then we have up the other end where there's going to be actually a better picture to show would be this one. Yep, maybe this one. That's fine. Um, the gradation here from the car parking down onto the artificial turf here indicated here the parking down the steps onto the artificial turf. So that gradation there. Of interest, perhaps, is another map which is quite different. You can see that it's a very sharp edged sort of track around the edges in comparison to what we were just looking at a moment ago and a different arrangement for the bus parking at the back. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure of the significance of this map but it's just indicating dimensions I think. You can see the lines across everything to indicate how large things will be. And another map of interest, if I can get access to that. Okay, here it is. Is the demolition process of what will be happening. So you can see that there will be demolition of the netball courts. Um, the Croquet Cup Club will be intact, but the half of the children's playground goes there. All these hillocks will go. The building that was created a couple of years ago will go. And these two were, were also built not long ago, a couple of years ago. All the, the green trees along the back will go. Um, this area here, which is the main football field at the moment, um, will be changed so that it is that large field that I was showing you a moment ago for cricket and soccer. And then there are the various changes where um, buildings are altered and the parking is altered there so it's not easy to see the, the writing but if you go to um, the Facebook page or the website um, that I have and I'll show you the link to that or links in general to those you can find out more information so this is a flyer that I put out to people to help them to understand or get an introduction to what was happening and we have a petition if you could sign that tonight um, and a website where you can find more information as well um, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what is happening um, this is the original letter that I received from council to explain that this was all happening and I got this in the mail uh, middle of September yeah. so you may or may not be able to read that Not exactly clear. Okay, just with the glare, unfortunately. But hopefully you can understand it. Um, I can post these. The, well, in fact, these all these documents, most of these documents, are already posted on the Facebook page as it is. But um, yeah, and one other flyer that I had created is just to highlight the the amount of bus parking that's going to be going over the lawn area. That indicates that there. That you're welcome to go to the website. I'll put that flyer up again for you. Hopefully it helps you to understand if 
you could go and sign the petition or even better write something at this web address. Again all these details are uh, on the website, on the Facebook page. Having a look there. Thank you for your time and hopefully we can make a difference. Hopefully we can help the park to remain a green space for people to enjoy. This may not be the best use of the park. A lot of people have told me that they would like it to stay just as it is. Because they enjoy it, they enjoy the relaxing space, the greenness of it, and uh, I'm not sure the cramming children's playground into this space, covering this with astroturf, putting buildings on grass, car parking on grass, bus parking on grass, <sighs> all this here. I don't know that it's the best use of Penshurst Park. Please put in your pit submissions. I think a lot of us would appreciate your support. Thank you.